the first demo. BMW Motorrad. The guys just went out, the other group. So this is the whole setup here. This is the place where I bought my first uh, GSA. So the bikes line up here and then uh, they all go out. We are out! Yes! We are ready! We are ready! We are ready for the demo! We are ready for the demo! We are ready for the demo! <laughs> okay, so now we're ready. So I got this. Now I'll bike. I'll come back and fix it. But now we're ready to rock and roll, man. So what are we doing, Sajin? So I'm going to be just riding the 1200 gears. Hopefully uh. they have the, uh, the low suspension. Uh, if not, then I'll see if they have a 700 gears that I could test ride. Okay. Then uh, if we have time, then maybe. Riders are back from the previous ride, so this is where we're going to be heading out and checking our bikes. This is the motor ride truck. Ooh, Sajin right here? Picture, okay, there you go, let me grab a picture. Okay. Uh, 310 GS. So let's see how that is. It looks like a cool bike. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Okay, I, I got the 310 GS. Let's see how that is. I just want to see if it's good enough for our good old off riding, off road, and stuff. Uh, the pegs are really small, man. <laughs> I think it's small. It's a little tall. Hmm. I guess if you get a low seat, that'll be good. But uh, we'll check it out. It's taller than my bike. <laughs> That's strange. Let me see if I can get it to come to a lower seat. Uh, can the seat be adjusted to a lower Thank setting or no? Okay, that's fine. Is it okay? Yeah, it's fine. I got a shorter one. Uh, you know, it's, it's not the GS, it's the R. No, no, I want the GS, yeah. Okay. I guess these are the... Sergeant, all set? <laughs> Okay, we are good to go. I just want to make sure the mic was okay. You can barely hear the sound of the engine. You good, Sajin? This seems like a toy bike uh, compared to the GS. 
That's the first impression. Dude, this thing is small. This thing is small. Uh, a lot of vibration. A lot of wind. Uh oh, man. That thing is unbelievable how different it is compared to the big guy. It is. <laughs> okay. Keep bringing it out, I guess. glad I bought the 1200 or 1250 GSA as my first bike these bikes are like man absolutely small man the vibration this is unbelievable you can't go more than 60 miles I'm, everything is vibrating my legs are all <laughs> So now the question comes whether I would buy this uh, to uh, take it off-road. I think I should just get better at my GS because this thing is, uh, you know, it's like a dirt bike. For some reason it's just, it just feels like uh, maybe I should, my expectations are a little different. Uh, it's just, uh, after, once we ride the 1250 GSA, I guess there's no going back. <laughs> That's what I can say. Uh, whoa, I gotta just rev it up, otherwise you don't get anything out of this one. There's just nothing out here. as good as our good friend yep I think maybe off-road might be all right but city and everything else man this thing is just there's nothing there and this bike has got just like 420 miles so, you know, that's nothing. to go up the revs man it's no fun no fun going up the revs for every couple of years it just doesn't make sense at all you need a high power bike and you need to just have low torque and that's about it <laughs> i guess i'm a little spoiled Ok, 
Okay, so getting a 310 GS just to go off-road. Uh, I guess you can't try off-road out here, but uh, it is a little... Uh, it might be okay. I gotta see how it feels. Uh, you know, standing up and stuff like that, I guess. But uh, uh, it's a problem for city rides and stuff. I just think it's... Uh, big for this bike <laughs> compared to the GS, I don't know. This is a good test ride. They're taking us uh, through all kinds of uh, roads and uh, you know, no traffic, so it's perfect. You can, uh, you know, wind it up if you need to. So, uh, I've been noticing that uh, I had kept my visor open because uh, it was hot, that's why my there was too much noise in my recordings, but now I think hopefully that's been fixed. Okay, it's 60 miles an hour and feels like 90. Uh, you gotta prepare early for this bike because the brakes and stuff is man. Uh, I guess the GSA is a GSA. Well, the guys are going to say, yeah, you're just a power-hungry beast. Because this is, uh, it's all right. It's all right. I guess because of the airflow, I think, it's a lot faster than 65 miles an hour. It's a good test ride. I really like uh, what they're doing here. stalls <laughs> stalls at low speed you gotta be careful I guess uh, now after getting uh, used to it and uh, riding a little bit on it yep primarily off-road I think it'll work but uh, city stuff, uh, I don't know, it's a little different kind of beast. So, uh, my verdict is, <laughs> it's, it's just not for me, I think, in terms of uh, city stuff, man. But, uh, but it's a, you know, I don't know, I just don't uh, like how it vibrates and all that stuff, so. Unless it's just off-road, I'm not sure if you'd ever want to buy this. Because you, you know, contrary to what people say, uh, high horsepower, better quality is always better than low horsepower and, <clears throat> you know, bad, you know, lower quality, irrespective of, of uh, what your uh, riding skill is. Uh, so... Seat high is seat uh, position is uh, higher than my bike actually. So, so I feel like I'm sitting on top of it, but in the front it's just barely anything there.
the indicators. I just got used to the GSA, huh? <laughs> the fork dives <laughs> oh lordy you break hard and the fork dives man I've never experienced that one I guess that tele lever suspension is good huh and I guess I'm just spoiled having driven nothing but the GSA <laughs> Good test ride. It's a pretty long test ride. I like it. These guys have a fantastic job. These guys know how to give publicity to the bikes. It's gorgeous. I think it's well worth it. Well worth it. You know what the uh, expectations are uh, on this bike? It's a big difference. And uh, yes, you know, you just need to. Oh, you can't go more than you know 50 60 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour on this if you do want to do long distance on this bike man it's, it's just impossible I think I think that's not a good idea so uh, so will I get this bike if I need to go off-roading and just small trips you know what I think probably uh, yes if uh, if it performs well off-road and basically if it's light you know that's that's the bottom line and now you have to pretty much uh, figure out whether you want a dirt bike which can do everything or or this guy Trying to keep up with the bagger out there in front of me. Uh, that's not possible. It's not bad, it's not bad. Uh, I'm getting used to it, <laughs> I think. I can live with it. I can live with it. It's just that uh, I can't compare this to a 1250. Yeah, I can live with it. I think I take all my statements back what I said before. <laughs> uh, maybe a low seat would be better. I don't like uh, sitting inside the bike. I don't like uh, sitting on top of the bike. to the Brembo's that's <laughs> a fork dive there but it's okay that can be fixed I think by some Olins <laughs> I'm glad I didn't pick the, this bike for my city and uh, regular use as the first bike as everybody advises you pick a small cc bike and all that stuff and that's all the pick the biggest and the baddest you can get and get used to it i think that's the, that's the way to go okay we are back that was a fantastic ride man i love these guys this is a fantastic job this is what a demo should be i think
it took me to all you know all kinds of places and I stalled once because of that stupid first gear stopping <laughs> man it's got no power compared to the 1250 man <laughs> <laughs> but interesting. <laughs> it's nice. That was good. That was good. Thank you, sir. That was a fantastic ride. <laughs> hey. It was nice. Okay guys, I'm just uh, heading back after uh, that test ride. <laughs> so, uh, that was fun. That was fun. Uh, I was just uh, speaking to another friend of mine who uh, rides, uh, I think, a VFR or FJR, one of those things. I'm not sure which one is which. And uh, he, was, he came back after the... Uh, uh, 1200 ride and he was feeling that uh, boxer engine vibrates <laughs> so it's just a matter of uh, perspective I guess uh, for him I think an inline 4 probably was a really smooth engine compared to the boxer so uh, each person uh, has a different feel to the bike so that was interesting so 310 was alright but uh, yeah, I'm glad I got the uh, 1250 for my uh, regular riding and everything else. So, so I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with this bike now. <laughs> I'm gonna be happy with this uh, for some time, I think. <laughs> uh, so uh, that's what it is. So I will uh, talk to you guys later. Hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, video on a demo ride with BMW Motorrad. And I think uh, just uh, before I sign off, I think uh, BMW organizes this at the, at any dealership, so that's pretty good. So it's all the bikes are all from the BMW because you see that uh, you know big demo truck coming in. So I guess they get all the demo bikes and stuff. So uh, that way, you know, they take care of it. And sometimes the dealers can be you know picky about stuff and things like that. So. I think uh, a big shout out to BMW for uh, having this uh, demo set up. I think it's a really good opportunity for people to try out different bikes. And uh, probably I will uh, come back after a few years and uh, check out some different stuff. But uh, for now, I think I'm good. Thank you very much. And uh, I will uh, talk to you guys later.